Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm going to show you how to use a gradient map adjustment layer to create interesting writing and drawing effects like the one you see up on the screen right now. But before we get to this, I want to give you a little explanation about the gradient maps themselves just so that you understand how and why this works the way it does. So let's go ahead and get into that first. It won't take very long. I just want to show it to you so that if you decide that you want to create your own colors or your own variations of this, you'll understand more clearly how to get exactly what you want. So I just have this basic image right here of a whole bunch of different colors and I have a gradient map right here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete it so that we can add one. So the way you add a gradient map is going to be right here in this little circle and you'll come in here to gradient map. Now I recently did a tutorial on the gradient tool itself uh, that did not include anything on the gradient map and I was thinking of doing an in-depth tutorial on the gradient map adjustment layer that's going to go much more in-depth than this tutorial is, but I'm going to give you the basics here. So let me know in the comments if you want to see that video. If not, let me just give you the basics. Here. Okay, so now that we have that gradient map up there, you're going to get something like this. This is the properties for the gradient map overlay that we just created, or adjustment layer that we just created. And we'll have access right here to the gradient editor. And then right here you have dither and reverse. So dither just gives you a smoother transition and then you have reverse which is really going to come in handy for something like a gradient map because you can reverse the colors and let me show you why that's important. So I'm going to click right here to get into my gradient editor and I, I just want to show you how the gradient actually works with the gradient map because it's not the same as the way a gradient works where it's just color overlaid on the top of an image. The gradient map actually takes the information from the layer beneath it and it applies color based on light information. So highlights, shadows, midtones. So I'm going to give you an example of that here. I'm going to add a midtone color right here. So I'm just going to click and then do something like this bright yellow. And just to give you an idea of how this works, so the color on this side is going to be applied to the shadows. So if you're familiar with the levels adjustment, so this will basically apply color just like you see on the levels adjustment. You have your shadows here. So any color that is right here, it doesn't have to be a dark color like we have here. It can be any color, but the color in this position to the left is going to be applied to all of the shadows or the dark colors of the canvas and then on this side all the way to the right whatever color is here is going to be applied to the highlights or the light colors on your canvas anything right here is going to be added to the mid-tone so the gray you know the gray somewhere in between there now the more I move this this way the more it's going to be applied to those shadows and the more I move it this way the more it's going to be applied to the highlights so and if I add another color here then this color is going to be added to anything closer to the shadows anything between gray and black is going to have this color applied to it and then the same goes for anything that's over here so I hope that makes sense I'm going to take that off um, but that's pretty much how that works now like I said before, this doesn't have to be a dark color. It can be a light color. If I bring this over here and swap them, now you'll see that all, anything that was dark on the canvas has this light color applied and any really bright areas like right here have that dark color applied. So this has nothing to do with the color itself. It has everything to do with the shadow, highlight, and midtone of whatever's on the canvas at this time. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. That is the basic explanation of a gradient map, but that's everything you need to know in order to do this color writing thing that we're going to be working on next. So the, it's just a fun little trick for hand lettering in Photoshop, or if you want to use it to make interesting illustrations, doodles, um, design assets, whatever. It's just a fun way to use color in order to get some interesting effects. So let's go ahead and get started with this. I want to show you exactly how I built this 
so that you can use it. This PSB file that we're working with here is actually going to be on my website. So you can download that for free if you want. Um, that's at prettywebs.com. And I'm also going to have some gradients in the lab for those of you who have access to that. And I'll show you those here in a minute. So this first layer is going to be my highlights layer. So it's going to be just a basic solid white colored layer. On top of that, we're going to have our shadows. So we have this basic black layer that's going to represent shadows. So highlights here, shadows here. And then this right here, this mask is going to dictate how the color is laid down. So if you're familiar with Photoshop masks, you know that it is also controlled by highlight and shadow. So we're going to use the mask in order to help us apply this color here. This right here, and I'm going to explain that here in a minute, uh, but let me just get to this last layer. So this one right here is our actual gradient map. And all I did was come here and then choose gradient map and add that right there. And that's going to be our top layer. This one is going to control color. The only thing you're going to do here is control your color, all of your writing and the way the color is going to be applied is going to happen right here on the mask. So I'm going to go ahead and delete what I have here. And how I delete that is uh, just adding black to the, to the mask. So, command and delete that's going to fill this with black that's because black is my background so in order to fill it with your background command or control delete in order to fill it with your foreground color option or alt and delete we'll do that i have my highlight layer showing because my shadows are masked at this point so you can't see them the brush that i'm using i'm going to come in here to the brush because this is also important I am in these general brushes in the Photoshop default brushes. I'm going to be using these two brushes, the soft round opacity and flow, and then hard round opacity and flow. Now these two brushes are meant to be used with the tablet. So it might work a little bit different if you're using a mouse, but I'll show you a few ways that you can make adjustments. Just, you know, if you don't have a tablet and you want to use a mouse for this, let's start with this uh, soft soft pressure brush. Now you can see that this brush has a lot of gradation. So we have, you know, a lot of grays in here, a lot of light highlights in here, and then it just fades out into darkness. That is going to help us a lot in how we lay down the color. So let's go ahead and, and do that. So I'm right here on this mask and I'm going to just draw something. So if you're familiar with lettering, you know that when you go up, you have less pressure. When you come down, you have more pressure. This is going to be darker than whatever I drew here. Let me go, let me turn off that gradient map and you can see that. So you can see how, you know, this is like a lighter gray. This is a darker gray and, you know, and so forth. So that is really dictating how that color is coming out here. Let me go ahead and open up the gradient and you can see what I'm talking about here. So this is a gradient that we're working with. So the lightest part of my canvas is, is the actual background, which is white. So it's getting all that light color. And then we have these purples on these, you know, light areas right here. And then these midtones are actually being picked up because it's more of a gray color that we have going on right here. So you can see how that's working. And then, you know, the darker color would probably end up here if I went any darker than this. So these are the darks, midtones, and lights, and they've been applied exactly like that. Now, say if I wanted to change that background color, all I'd have to do is come in here, click and change that. If I want black or any other color, I can easily change that there. So this one um, is gonna, change the color of the background and then you have all of these colors that you can work with so say you don't like this green right there maybe you want um you want that to be more of a blue color like a light blue or whatever then because you understand how gradient maps work now you can easily come in here and make changes to those colors so i'm gonna go ahead and cancel that i want to show you the other brush I'm going to come back here to my uh, mask layer. This is where I'm going to be writing. So I'm going to come here to 
my uh, hard round pressure opacity and flow brush I'm going to use that one next I want to show you how that looks compared to just that really soft brush so you can see with the hard round I'm getting really harsh edges here which I don't like so I'm going to come in here and then just take my hardness down to about 50 percent you can take it lower than that let me get rid of that so let me go ahead and redo that quickly just to give myself a smoother edge so I'm still getting that flatter color here as you know this is a much softer on this side I'm getting more definition on this side okay so I'm going to turn off my color and you can see uh, where my darks are or my darker midtones are the lighter midtones here and all of that so you can kind of get an idea of that I'm going to turn this back on and I'm going to come back in here into the gradient and I want to show you these other gradients that I've created these gradients right here are going to be part of the lab if you don't have access to that don't worry everything in there is free they're just tutorial resources and and you know extra things that I give to people who are subscribed to my newsletter so if you want to subscribe you can go to the footer of any page on prettywebs.com and sign up there and you'll get access to this lab and it's just full of design resources templates and things like that from past tutorials and then things like this that you can use when you're creating your own asset so anyway let me show you how uh, what these are so this one right here I called heat map uh, because that's what it looks like to me um, and then this is oil slick and this one is the hollow writer so holographic uh, colors here and you can easily change these so if you wanted to come in here and add more purple you definitely could in fact I like that better so I'll go ahead and leave that <laughs> for this one I will leave a link to the other tutorial that shows you all about the gradient editor down in the description as well so for those of you who would prefer to use a mouse for this you can do that it doesn't flow as well as it does when you're using the tablet it's a little bit harder but you can control this um, using mouse clicks as well so let me show you how to do that I'm just right here on my mask layer I'm going to come in here to the brushes and you I'm going to use the soft round pressure opacity and flow but you can use any of these soft brushes the hard rounds don't really work very well for this so I would stick with a soft brush so I'm going to stick with this one and I'm going to come over here and take my flow down to about 15 percent and I'll take my opacity down as well to about 50 percent and you can mix and work with this to get um, you know the flow that you want but when I make my first line obviously it's not ideal it's not giving us the effect that we want but as you keep on going over it you'll start to see that colors start coming out and I'm just kind of going over it and going over it so I'm making it darker and darker and the more I click away so I can actually just come in here and draw like this with just my mouse with you know just holding down the the mouse when I let go and then I click again and as I keep clicking I'm gonna start to get that darker color um, this is one way to control it but it's not ideal and it flows and it works a lot better if you have a tablet but I wanted to give you another option just in case you wanted to use the mouse clicks I hope you enjoyed this Photoshop tips tutorial if you did make sure to leave me a thumbs up down at the bottom so that other people can see these videos as well and don't forget to visit prettywebs.com for more design resources and tutorials until next time thanks for watching